my crafty friends, I sure hope you're having a fabulous day. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on my crafty adventure. Today I have a wonderful new project to share with you. I've created this gorgeous oversized 3D bow card that's perfect for Mother's Day. In fact, this project is kicking off my new card series called Shades of Beauty. Because I love the shape of this bow card, I've created a series that will feature different shades, different hues of paper, and women of different ethnicities. To make this card, I used a beautiful paper collection by Stamperia called Hortensia. This came out a few years ago, but it is my all-time favorite spring paper collection. Now this paper is available at ASC Craft Supplies. You can reach them on the web or their Etsy store. Also, please feel free to use my coupon code ROBIN10, that's all in capital letters, to receive a 10% discount upon checkout. I also use the Crafter's Companion 3D Bow Card. Hopefully you had an opportunity to see my video that I posted a few days ago that features the three different cards that are included in the 3D collection. As you can see, this card is quite large and it is a wonderful statement piece. It measures seven inches from top to bottom and 10 inches from end to end. Although this card looks very detailed and difficult to make, it's actually quite simple. And in this video, I'm going to review this card in further detail and also do an easy step-by-step -step tutorial and we'll make one of these together. Let me give you a side view of this card. As you can see, it has lots of dimensions. We have one layer here, one layer here. We have the tail and this is the back. I've kept the back plain. However, I will include my information in a special dedication in the back. Front and center, the main focal point of this card is this beautiful woman that is featured in the center of the frame. If you're familiar with the Hortensia collection, you'll know that they feature beautiful women throughout the paper collection. If you haven't seen it, I'll be sure to include a link in the description box below. On the top and the bottom of the frame, I've flanked it with these beautiful pink crystal hearts. On the right of the card, I have this beautiful bird that I have covered in glossy accents to give it a 3D look. On the bottom, I have this beautiful statement that says, beauty is power, a smile is its sword. And I cut that out from the paper collection. On the left side, we have this beautiful floral bouquet in pinks and ivory and white. We've got these stamens and lavender and pink and white. In the back, we have this beautiful swirl design in lavender. This is an Anna Griffin die. I don't have it in front of me, but I will include a link in the description box below. Behind this bow, I have several layers of fussy cut elements. We've got this beautiful clock that's flanked with beautiful hydrangea and blues and pinks and purples. We've got more down here on the side and more on this left side here. I think that makes a beautiful embellishment. So even if you don't have an ephemera kit with a paper collection, just get out your snips and start fussy cutting beautiful elements from the paper collection. If I turn the card to the side, we have another larger bow here. And on top of that, I flanked it with this beautiful lavender swirl. This is also an Anna Griffin piece and more of these beautiful flowers here. Isn't that lovely? Now let me turn it to the other side. Here you can see more of the bow and more of the flowers. I'm going to adjust my camera so that I can give you a closer look at the front of the card as well as the inside. Here's a closer look and at every angle you can see that they're just beautiful layers of flowers. Let me hold this up for you. This is a beautiful top swirl, the Anna Griffin piece. And you can see all of the beautiful floral details here. This is part of the paper. This is the first layer of the bow. Here's a little bird down here. And we have another bird that's flying down. You can see all of these beautiful fussy cut hydrangeas here. And more of these beautiful flowers in the back. 
Now, one thing I want to point out is how thick this card is. If I turn this up, you can see that I have several layers of foam. Now, these are three millimeter foams that are stacked up three times, but that gives you the dimension of this card. Hopefully you can see it. Because I've created so much detail and dimension on the outside of the card, I did keep the inside of the card fairly simple. I've simply cut out a piece of this beautiful Hortensia paper, and you have lots of white space here to write a note. And I've used my We Are Memory Keeper corner choppers to create a decorative edge. Now that I've given you a detailed overview of this beautiful Hortensia 3D bow card, I'm going to grab my materials so that we can make it together. To make this card, you'll need the Crafter's Companion 3D bow card. Now, I purchased this from HSN as a trio, which included the 3D bow card, a butterfly box, as well as a tulip box. However, you can purchase these individually from Crafter's Companion or anywhere that Crafter's Companion products are sold. You'll also need cardstock. Now, I'm just going to be creating a basic card, so I'm using black and ivory. For the cardstock base, you'll need four pieces, which I'm using in the black, and you'll also need four pieces of cardstock for the ivory or your decorative paper. You'll also need some adhesive. I'm using the Kalal All-Purpose Glue, the Art Glitter Glue, and I'm also going to be using my hot glue gun. You'll also need a bone folder as well as a paper curler. Now this is by Sizzix, but if you don't have this, you could also use the edge of your table to curl your paper. First, I want to review the 3D bow card template on the back of your packaging. You're going to see the nine pieces that are included in this template, and each of them have a coordinating letter. Also, you're going to have a set of instructions, and let me show you those. Here's the detailed instructions I'll walk you through step by step with each of the pieces. Let me show you a few of these templates. They may be a bit difficult to see because of the white plastic. So this is one piece, this is the larger bow, and you simply trace around the bow, and where there are cut marks, you simply cut. Now the detailed instructions will tell you where to cut and or score. So this is one piece. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I wanted you to see some of them. This is part of the card base, this is letter G, and here we have a tab and a line here. On this piece, we're actually going to score it and fold it down. But again, the instructions will tell you step by step how to assemble it. These are the pieces of the bow. I have traced and cut each of the individual pieces. Now for this example, the black card stock will be the base of the card and the ivory card stock will be the decorative element. So you can use whatever colors you like, okay? Before we begin attaching the decorative layers onto the cardstock, I want to draw your attention to two things. For the large bow, as well as a small bow, you're going to see these individual lines. Now what I've done is used a craft knife to make the slits of this card, and I've made it slightly larger than what was in the template. What's going to happen is we're going to fold the tail, this piece here, the tail of the bow, inside those slots. So you want to make sure that you do it for the smaller bow as well as this larger bow. Okay, so now we can go ahead and glue this ivory piece onto the larger bow. You want to do the same for the smaller bow and you're going to glue on the decorative layer for this back piece here. And when you do it, you wanna make sure that each piece is centered onto the back piece. Okay, so go ahead and do that now. Now I have the decorative layers glued onto the mats for the large bow, the small bow, as well as the tail. One thing I did wanna point out is that you do need to make sure that these slits on the back go through to the decorative paper. The first thing that we're gonna do is turn over the large bow on the back and you see these little pieces here that looks like it has a little bump 
these pieces are going to be inserted into the slots just like so. So one thing that you want to do, and this is not mandatory, but I think it'll help you create a nice curve to your bow, is you can use this paper curling tool. And to use it, you simply grab hold to the base of your card and just flick it up. Or if you're on this side, you can hold the middle of the card and just turn it down. If you don't have one of those tools, no problem. You can simply run each of these tails along the side of your table and that'll create a nice curve. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to turn this piece over. I'm gonna take one of these tails and see each of these tails look like they have a little hump. Okay, those are gonna be our glue tabs. So I'm gonna take this tab right here and I'm going to insert it into the little slit that we've created. And when I turn it over, you can see our little tab. So I'm just gonna flip this over and add some glue. Okay, you wanna to try to make sure that you don't squish your bow down as you're doing this. And then you're gonna fold that glue down and you wanna make sure that you hold it until it's securely attached before moving on to the next section. Okay. Might want to take your bone folder and just run it along the tab. Then we're going to do that on the next tail. We're just going to slide it through. You're going to make sure you hold it when you turn it over. Okay. We're going to fold this piece back. Add glue. And then glue that piece down. Now you can repeat that process for the rest of these two tails. And then you can also do it for the smaller bow. Now that we have the small bow and the large bow assembled, let's put these aside and we're gonna work on the card base. So you should have a piece that looks like this with no tab, a piece that does have a tab, and then we have a decorative piece. So the first thing you wanna do is grab the piece with the tab and we're gonna fold along the score line just like so. And then we're going to attach it to the base card. Now, one thing you wanna make sure that you do is pay attention to which side you're gluing it on, okay? When you glue this piece to the back piece, it should be a perfect fit, okay? There should be no gaps in the back. Just put your adhesive here, and then we're gonna attach it to the back. And then I'm gonna turn it to the side and make sure I have the edges lined up. And then you want to burnish. And then you have your card base. Just wipe off any excess glue here. Now you can take your decorative piece. Actually, you want to cut out two of these and you can put this here on the inside and this will cover up the liner. And you'll have another piece that goes on the front. For now, let's just glue on the front cover so that we can finish assembling the rest of the card. Now that we have the decorative layer on the front of the card, you wanna grab your tail. Now the tail is gonna be centered on the front of the card, just like so. And then you just wanna put the glue right here in the center. So let's go ahead and glue that part down now. Okay, now that we have that glued down, grab your large bow. And we want to make sure that this is centered on the card. And you want to make sure that the sides of the bow line up to the side of the card. And so when you glue it down, you're going to press it down just like so. It's this whole center part here. Not the sides of the bows, but just the center area here that's going to be glued down. So let's do that now. So you can see where the glue mark should be right here. Now here you can use your hot glue if you like. I'm just using my Kalal all-purpose glue. And then I'm gonna center this on the card just like so. And then take your bone folder and just press down that area. Now this is going to take a little while for it to hold because the center of the bow is gonna to wanna to pop up. So just hold it in place for a while. Now that I have the larger bow glued down, I want to glue down this smaller bow. And so if I glue it down just like this, you'll notice that it 
pops up the sides of the bow. However, if I wanted to add a frame on the front of this, it makes it a bit difficult to do that, okay? So instead, what I've done is I've cut out these foam squares. Now, these measure one by one inch, and these are three millimeter thick foam, and I've just glued these three together. I just found out by trial and error that this was a good size that works. And so I'm gonna glue this here, just like so. And then you're gonna glue the smaller bow to the top. And you see how that not only gives you an additional lift, but it gives you more surface to glue your frame down and your bow is not completely hidden. Okay, so you can glue it vertically or horizontally, whichever works best for you. Okay, I think in this case, I'm gonna glue it horizontally. So you wanna make sure it's in the middle of this center area right here. This time I'm going to use my art glitter glue. You can also use your hot glue gun. And then I'm going to put glue on the other side of the foam. And then you want to center the bow and just press. Okay, and so the sides of this bow will be lined up with the sides of the bottom bow. So just give that a few seconds to hold. Now we have the second bow attached and everything is nice and sturdy. You want to work with the frame. So I have two pieces. So this is the base and this is the decorative layer. So you want to go ahead and glue this on. And then you have this back piece. Now this back piece really is just a guide if you want to put a uh, photo or if you want to put a pretty decorative image behind it. And so what you want to do is after you glue your decorative piece on, you want to center this piece behind just like so. This just gives you something to glue on to. So let's glue on the decorative layer right now. Okay, and I'm just going to center this onto this piece. And then before you glue this piece on, just make sure you trace out whatever photo or image you want and then you glue that onto the back. So I will put glue along the perimeter of the circle. You don't want to put it in the center because you don't want that to show. I'm going to attach that just like so. Okay, so let's make believe we have a photo here. And now we want to attach it to the center. So what we need to do is create some height because if we push it all the way down, that's going to destroy the frame. So I have another piece of foam. So I would normally make it one by one, but I'm using a piece of scrap. Again, this is three millimeter foam and I'm just going to attach it. Actually, I'm going to attach it horizontally like this. Okay, so I'm going to put this like this and then you'll notice that the photo will fit nice and snug right in the center, just like so. Okay, so you're gonna have to push it down a little bit, but it really doesn't distort the frame. So I'm gonna put a little hot glue on this. I'm gonna put that right in the center, and then I'm gonna put a little hot glue on this piece right here. And then we can center our frame and then push down. Now we have our 3D bow assembled and as you can see we have lots of dimension. Look at these lovely layers of bows. Now what you want to do is decorate. So you have all of these folds in between here and here that you can attach ribbon, lace, flowers, decorative cutouts to make this a masterpiece. These are our beautiful 3D bows. On the left, we have the prototype that we just created together. And on the right, we have the beautiful 3D Hortensia bow. Hopefully I've inspired you with new and creative ideas. Please be sure to check out my new card series called Shades of Beauty, where I celebrate all colors and ethnicities of women using this beautiful 3D bow. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now, and happy crafting.